Wait, don't be so hasty. Our three crews are together to discuss an alliance. Can't you sit and talk like civilized men? Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we'll be taking a look at one of the members of the worst generation and second in command of the Kid Pirates, Killer. Killer is a tall, muscular, and agile man who we first encounter in the series during the Straw Hat's first visit to Sabadi Archipelago. His most distinguishing feature is the fact that he wears a mask that encloses his entire head at all times, accompanied by his incredibly long blonde hair. Despite being a member of the Kid Pirates, a group known for gratuitous violence and destruction, Killer has been shown to be quite calm and level-headed when it comes to decision-making, at some points much more so than his captain Eustace Kid. As a result, Killer will often be the individual capable of conjuring the best course of action for any given scenario and presenting it to his captain, much like most of the Straw Hats do with Luffy. However, Killer is also quite a capable combatant, favoring the use of two detachable scythe-style weapons on either arm. Wielding these combined with his extraordinary agility, Killer is able to skillfully defeat opponents with minimal effort by targeting their weak areas with almost surgical precision. This deadly skill managed to earn him a bounty of 162 million berries by the time of his introduction into the series. Speaking of, Killer and the rest of the Kid Pirates arrived at Sabadi Archipelago after following one of the alternate log pose routes through the first half of the Grand Line. And they just so happened to arrive at quite a busy time for the old archipelago, as there were nine other individuals present with bounties of over 100 million berries. Collectively, this group would be referred to as the Supernovas for quite some time, with Killer being one of only two members who was not the captain of his own pirate crew, with the other one being Rowan Oazoro. During his time on the archipelago, Killer was able to display his strength after coming into conflict with another supernova, Mad Monkey Rouge. It is unknown why their battle started, however it was put to a swift halt by yet another supernova, X Drake. Killer then joined his captain at the Human Auction House where he bore witness to Luffy punching a Celestial Dragon, an action that would result in calling a Marine Admiral, various pacifistas, and a legion of Marine soldiers to the archipelago. However, here Killer was able to display his strength yet again by comfortably resisting a burst of Conqueror's Haki from Silver's Rayleigh, the former first mate of the Pirate King. In order to escape the auction house, Killer and Kid found themselves teaming up with the Straw Hat and Heart Pirates to defeat a daunting regiment of Marines that had encroached on their position. After parting ways, the Kid Pirates were intercepted by a figure they thought to be one of the Warlords of the Sea, Bartholomew Kuma, but in reality it was a pacifista. The outcome of this particular battle was never shown in the manga, but it isn't out of the question to believe that they could have defeated the pacifist. Easter. If not, then, well, they certainly managed to escape it. Killer would then return to Sabadi once all the hubbub had died down, and was seen watching the Paramount War being televised. Later on, Killer was also seen on the outskirts of Marineford, watching the battle directly with the rest of the Kid Pirates. Following the Paramount War, Killer followed in the steps of the rest of the supernovas and entered the New World, and is seen explaining the significance of the Ox Bell to his captain, showing that in addition to his calm nature and deadly combat ability, he is also quite knowledgeable and worldly. Killer would not be seen again until after after the time skip. However, before we get into that, it needs to be noted that at some stage during the two year time skip, Killer and Kid entered the territory of the Emperor Big Mom, but were overwhelmed and forced to flee. During this time period, the name Supernovas was also dropped, and Killer instead became known as one of the worst generation, a group featuring all 11 of the Supernovas plus the Emperor Blackbeard. But Killer's first actual appearance post time skip was during the Punk Hazard arc, where he is shown to be watching Caesar Clown's Den Den Mushi broadcast, spruiking his new chemical weapon. Shortly after, he and his captain adjourned to a meeting area where fellow Worst Generation members Basil Hawkins and Scratch Manapu were waiting for them in order to discuss the formation of a pirate alliance with the goal of taking down the Emperor, Red Haired Shanks. After the events of Dress Rosa, Killer was seen with the rest of the now officially formed pirate alliance, commenting on Luffy and Trafalgar Law's defeat of Dolphamingo. However, Killer soon found himself under attack when out of nowhere, the Emperor Kaido landed on their island base. Killer's fate following this event is unknown at the point of making this video. Some more fun facts about Killer. Killer's helmety mask thing bears very strong resemblance to the French musician Guy Manuel de Homem Christo's helmet from the group Daft Punk. Killer's hobbies include playing the drums as well as cooking, although it needs to be noted that Killer prefers food that he can eat through his mask, like spaghetti. While most One Piece characters have carefully chosen names, often alluding to real life figures, Oda has admitted that he picked Killer's name out of sheer laziness. Killer's relationship with his captain Eustace Kid stretches quite a way back to their youth. We don't know how or when they met, but Oda did provide an anecdote of the two of them having eaten curry udon with a girl they both loved while they were young. When the curry udon turned the girl's skin brown, both Kid and Killer laughed at her, which prompted the girl to beat them both up. And finally, a truly useless fact, 
As a result of the story I just mentioned, both Killer and Kid's least favourite food is curry udon. And that pretty much does it for Killer. If you enjoyed this video then feel free to like, favourite or subscribe. Please do comment with who, what or where you'd like to see featured in the next One Piece 101.